Cannot get enough of that song, Florida Georgia Line and Dirt on the Highway. I'm Stormy Warren. <laughs> Got our Jersey Girls in the house, studio filling up, and now the beautiful Janine Stang is in our nook. All right, you've probably heard this name a lot, especially in the last few weeks, as her journey has come to fruition. Everything she has dedicated the last two years to is, is finally culminated in this last week. Actually, last night. That's where it all ended. She put the cap on this two-year journey to sing the national anthem in all 50 states. Now, Janine, where did this idea come from? I just always love singing the national anthem. I sang it since I was in high school. I always wanted to do something to give back, so I realized nobody ever sang it in all 50 states. And nobody had ever done that before. No. Now I understand why nobody's ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it seemed like a great plan on paper. <laughs> a lot of work, but I love it. I'd do it all again. Where was the first place you did it on this quest? On this quest, uh, July 3rd, 2012, was kind of my first official one for the Tampa Yankees. And you've performed mostly sporting events, but it's been a, a wide array. The a diversity plethora. of events. I mean, we're talking small town rodeos, yeah. NFL stadiums, yeah. Uh, yeah. Major League Baseball, yeah. basketball, US hockey. US Missouri. Is there a sport you didn't touch? No. I don't think so. I even sang for a donkey basketball game. <laughs> yes. A yes. donkey basketball game. Yes. Where was that? In Virginia. The and game you... was... Uh... <laughs> no, I've got to tell you, it was really... It was interesting. It was interesting. Who won? Um, the donkeys. The donkeys. <laughs> they okay. smelled the entire place up, so yes, they won. Yes, they won. <laughs> Did you actually jot all of these places and create a circuit, or was it random week to week? <laughs> it wasn't week to week. I'd say it was a lot of uh, planning and logistics. I say that my uh, there was a wall in my office that kind of looked like the Situation Room. I was kind of mapping everything out, trying to figure out what would work if I flew to one city and then drove to a different state. You know, you it, could hub it like it, exactly, hub exactly. And then sp and then spider web yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett uh, actually was the originator, I think, of that as, as far as touring goes. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great idea. Yeah, well, it worked. It definitely hel helped a lot. So. Did you ever doubt that you were going to succeed? No, no. I'm pretty determined. Even when you did like five and you went, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. I, you know, I didn't think about it. I just was so focused on the goal, I didn't stop to say, oh boy. It, what I did realize was the end of last year, I saw the anthem was turning 200. On September 14th and I said that's my self-imposed deadline I've got so to get it nice done to at least have the end line it was yes it was actually now something where there was okay you have to complete it and then I realized I was doing the math and I was like I have to really hightail it I was <laughs> averaging five to six states a month this month I did I've done seven states eight events from August 1st to the end so wow. it's been a lot I pretty much live on a Delta plane feed. I tell people, if you want to send me mail, just send it to Delta. Just send, I mean, this is <laughs> or a hotel in, in the area that I'm going to be at. I would say you need to fire the person robbing your trip, but, you, but it's me. But it's you, yeah. because uh, two days ago you were, what, in Hawaii? Or uh, not August too long ago? 22nd, I was in Hawaii. I landed. I had 30 hours there. Then I was home for about 48 hours, which was a long time. I was actually telling one of my friends, I'm like, oh, I get to be home for a while. They're like, well, what's a while? I was like, oh, it was like two days. <laughs> two days. And that was your 49th state. Yes. And you did it uh, the graduation of a group of Navy officers on board the USS Missouri so awesome. in Pearl yeah, Harbor. We're I mean, honor. singing the national anthem Ugh. at that memorial. Pearl Harbor, with, with the, all the ships in the background, sitting, standing on a ship where World War II was ended. It was just wow. It Especially was, with the uh, the track record and the path and, and the experiences and the history yeah. of this journey, that had to bring all the emotion out. It really did. It really did. It was. It was hard not to be sentimental I said I gotta hold this all together you know it can't be a basket case when you're singing the anthem so you've been on the Today Show press has followed you everywhere on this journey uh, there's a reason behind there's a method to the madness of this other than just yes. celebrating our, our nation's anthem yeah there's a, there's another reason yeah it's to honor the brave men and men and women who embody the meaning of the song you know, I've been honored to meet so many of them, and it's so humbling to see when you say thank you for your service, they look at you and they just go, I'd do it, I'd do it again. I met a 92-year-old World War II vet. His name was Cliff, adorable, he was in Kentucky, and uh, he was on the, he stormed Normandy. He was there at the beaches on D-Day, and um, I talked to him and he said, I just want to tell you, if the nation called me and said, we're in a war, he goes, I would say, where's my bags? I'm going. Really? 92 years old. Yeah. You know, it was just, and to hear him say that, I just, oh, wow. These people, I've gotten to meet so many people who love America, who love the men and women who are keeping us safe. And I really can say, I've seen all 50 states, America is beautiful. The people are beautiful. The landscapes are beautiful. 
I've, I'm so honored to have been able to do this. Janine Stang, you can find her on Twitter at National Anthem Girl. I love the, uh, I love the. Yeah, the, the, the Anthem Girl the is the Anthem t- Girl. Yeah, yeah the, sorry, the Anthem Girl, uh-huh. and that, that's what you're known as now, and that's okay. That's fine with me. It, it, you, this song obviously is ingrained in all of our lives, but when did you start singing it out publicly? High school. I was a nervous wreck the first time I sang it. Uh, I was holding the microphone cord so tight I couldn't open my hand after I was done, but I've worked through that. <laughs> when was the last time you screwed up the lyrics? Never. Never? No. Not once? No. That's impressive. And it's the way it should be, by the way. I take it seriously. It's not a joke. No, it, it, and it's definitely not a joke. And you are in our performance nook. There's a microphone in front of you. Oh, this is a nook? How cute. It's the performance nook. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You've never performed in a nook before, have you? I've never. So I've done the center of the universe, donkey basketball games. Battleships, never a nook. It pouring rain at the final three season yes. game at LP Field. I've right sung down in the Hail street. too. Blood. In Hail too. Yeah, boxing matches, blood all over the mat. Really? Yeah, that's a lot of blood in boxing. My goodness. And he's got a film crew in here in the studio. <laughs> They've documented this entire journey. A film crew? Yeah. Those are my imaginary friends. You could see them too. <laughs> <laughs> you could see my imaginary friends. I do. Yes, <laughs> they're documenting. They're awesome, awesome people. They're like my best friends this has been an awesome trip with them around me and i'm so happy are we going to see this somewhere yes okay yes so this entire journey been documented i'll tweet you Uh, before you (laughs) sing i gotta ask you now i mean it's kind of like forrest gump when he stops running uh (laughs) what do you do now this is the first time i'm actually going to talk about it you want to like i'm going to involve you in this if that's okay (laughs) please i'm involved (laughs) um well having had sung the national anthem in all 50 states i just feel it's the next step, what I'd like to do is have a gift from America to all those who have a gift from America to all those who have given their all and given so much. So what I'd like to do is record a version of the national anthem, sort of like We Are the World, Star Spangled Banner, where I invite major artists to sing the anthem with me, pure patriotism. We all sing it together. It'll be downloadable. I'm a nonprofit. I'll have a separate account just specific for that, so all the proceeds will go into it. Since I've sung in all 50 states, I'll have uh, the ability to identify families of those who served and obviously those who served who have certain needs that we as Americans can help through because of that they embody the meaning of that song. All that money will go. I'll go deliver it to them. We'll make a big deal. We'll get their story and we'll honor them and it'll keep going on and on and on. In five years from now, if those artists are not popular anymore, We'll redo it, and we'll just keep going on and on. So it'll go on, hopefully, forever. So it's a living tribute. It'll be a living tribute. It's never been done before. And um, I, I thought of it, and I said, this would be something to really, yes, singing in all 50 states was great, but now to take it and to say, we, we love all these people that have given their all, and the families that are there supporting them. Every time we sing that song, we put our hand over our heart, we're all as one. So I just think it's the perfect song to do that with. Nobody's going to make money from it. Everybody is going to be giving their time to do it. And we'll get to have some of the best people, I, I believe, on this planet who love us, who love our country, to, to be able to um, have things that they couldn't have had before if it weren't for this song. All right, I'm involved. How do we get involved? We need to get every major artist. I want all different genres together it would be really cool to have them all in one big studio we all sing it together and then we i would love to launch it maybe like at a thanksgiving big nfl game because then just think about how many people would be able to download that and it'll go on and on and on so you in i'm in yay you're in (laughs) facebook.com slash national anthem girl on twitter.com the anthem girl youtube.com national anthem girl tv and on instagram.com Slash Janine Stang. Yes. S T A N G E. Yes. All right. We're all going to stand up here. Everybody? Here we go. Okay. Hats off. Oh, and I have to say hi to my cousin David. He's a huge fan of yours. He said he would pass out if I mentioned. Hopefully, David, you're not. You're sitting down so you didn't pass out. David, it is a David pleasure. David Malazzo, to have you. He's a, he uh, invented this thing called Tree Stand Buddy, and uh, if you like hunting, I'm sure he would take you hunting. You're just the hype machine. I'm not, no, it's just him. He's He told me all about you, so. Well, thank you, David, for listening. We appreciate it. Now, without any further ado, I know if you're driving, it's going to be tough to do, but at least, put the, at least put the hand <laughs> over your heart. And if you're at work, this would be really cool if you're listening. Stand up, put your hand over your heart, take your hats off, and let's all honor America with the anthem, girl. This is Janine staying to get your Labor Day weekend started. 
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the Janine Stang, the National Anthem Girl. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So does that make 51 then, doesn't it? <laughs> 50A, maybe? <laughs> 50 A, yeah, because you're still in Tennessee. 50.1. The final one, in all actuality, was last night at yes. LP Field. The with Titans. Singing before the Titans-Vikings preseason yes. game. Thank yes. you for ending your journey with us in Music City. Thank you. What an honor. Awesome. Honor to have you here. Thank you so much. My kids know that as the bathtub song because I every time that's I gave good. them a bath growing up, that's what we sang that's while they're sitting there. So they, <laughs> they learned the lyrics. They did. They've known it since they were little babies, and uh, so it's cool. And I, I recommend you teach your kids this. That's uh, right. Very Everybody early. should. And teach them. Put the hand on their heart. Stand up. Respect it. Yeah. If you uh, if you have pictures or whatever of how you honored America while Janine sang, we'd love to see those on our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash on the highway. Happy Labor Day weekend. Oh, thank you. You too. That was beautiful.